up guys? Welcome to my page, Burnout Garage. My name's Scott and this is my 2016 Subaru WRX. Today we're going to be doing a build overview of everything I've done to this car since owning it for the past year. If you haven't been to this page yet, we're going to be following a bunch of different other builds. Alright guys, so to start off with all the exterior mods I've done, the most noticeable difference I've done is definitely the wheels. They are NK NTO3, 18 by 9.5 plus 40 offset. The tires are Pirelli 245, 4018s. Love the look of them. And the silver just really pops with the blue. Right behind are gonna be the Rally Armor mud flaps. This actually just came with the car when I bought it. Going into the front end, at the bottom from the top, we have the CS style front lip from Basin R. You can purchase this on eBay for about 150 bucks. It's a super affordable mod and it sits really flush with the bumper. Right above that, I have the premium auto styling front bumper overlay. It helps protect against the little chips of the paint. I really like the way it looks. I also went ahead and did the license plate delete with that WRX plate. But the favorite thing I have in the front end here is the Dio Dynamics Switchback C lights. They're really affordable and really change the look of your car, giving it a real modern feel. It's also referenced in my top five mods for your Subaru. If you wanna check that video out, I'll put the link in the description below. For the back of the car, starting at the top, we have the Sumi Speed Vortex Generator. It's the OLM version one type A, which is the one that goes all the way across the top bin up there. Super affordable mod and really just gives it a more aggressive look. I also went ahead and just blacked out the tail lights, all the badges, and then this plate right here. I hate to say it, but it was Plasti Dip. And it honestly, looks really, really good. I think I'm gonna eventually switch to premium overlays for the tail lights. And right down below, I have the third brake light. Uh, it came with the car. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's pretty cool. For exhaust modifications, I have the Cobb Catted J pipe and mid pipe going into a Remark axle back exhaust with double walled tips. So this is my trunk setup as of right now. I have two JBL 1000 watt 12 inch subs. The box is a little jank right now. I'm working on getting a new one built pretty soon, but other than that, pretty much stock. Amp flyers hidden in the back. This is where I have my amp stored. I just bolted it right onto the back right there. It's a Pioneer 900 watt amp. The only thing notable in my interior is my access port. I just got some overlays on the steering wheel and that's pretty much it. For engine modifications, I have a Mishimoto intake, Perrin blow-off valve, Perrin charge pipe, the Cobb J pipe going into the Remark axle back exhaust, and I'm still running a stock intercooler uh, on 91. The car has been tuned by Antspec over in Orange County. I'm running a stage two tune. I ended up with 330 foot-pounds of torque and just over 285 horsepower. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe so I can continue to do cool videos like this.